Well, after the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade, there are still major questions about whether the court is going to try to use the framework for that decision to repeal rights beyond abortion, like maybe same-sex marriage. Senator Ted Cruz believes that the Supreme Court was, quote, clearly wrong when it legalized same-sex marriage in the landmark ruling in 2015. Obergefell, like Roe versus Wade, ignored two centuries of our nation's history. Marriage was always an issue that was left to the states. In Obergefell, the court said, no, we know better than you guys do, and now every state must uh, m must sanction and, and permit gay marriage. Um, I think that decision was clearly wrong when it was decided. Um, it was the court overreaching. Joining us now is CNN political commentator Margaret Hoover and CNN senior political analyst John Avalon. I know both of you have a lot of thoughts on this. Oh, Ted Cruz. <laughs> I love waking up to the light. latest inanity from Ted Cruz. I mean, if if... The uninitiated are watching and think, oh, yeah, that's really interesting. A senator from Texas who actually has a law degree is saying this. Maybe we should look at this. Let's just be reminded that Ted Cruz is pandering not just to the base of the Republican Party, but to the worst kind of bigotry in the Republican Party. And what we know is the Texas GOP has just passed this plank saying that being gay is abnormal. And so if you're part of the Republican Party in Texas, you subscribe to this notion that being gay is abnormal now. You know that Clarence Thomas has said in the Supreme Court decision overturning Do uh, Roe in Dobbs that we should re-examine re previous precedents. Of course, Clarence Thomas didn't suggest we should re-examine Loving v. Virginia, which the Obergefell decision is based on, which argues that marriage is a fundamental right. Of course, the Loving v. Virginia decision is about interracial marriage, of which Clarence Thomas benefits from that law and that reading of the Constitution. So all of this is circular inanity and pandering to the bigots. But but it's not an entity to the extent that Cruz is dignifying politically what T Clarence Thomas wrote that the other justices tried to say, oh, we're not talking about that. Because there is an intellectual f flow through line. And, and you heard him say right there, well, you know, historically, as a matter of tradition, marriage was left up to the states. I mean, he just invalidated by that logic, loving v. Virginia, which everyone will say, no, 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 we're not talking about that. Now, Alito specifically said yes. in his ruling, this doesn't raise any questions beyond abortion. But Clarence Thomas specifically said it, it does. does. And Ted Cruz is now saying, yeah. yeah and I mean, and, and what, what this is about, right, is on the political side, you always want to start gathering momentum politically so that the court, because the court has traditionally been afraid of being ahead of where the public is on public opinion on any political issue. 70% of the country is in favor of same-sex marriage now. Important. 55% of Republicans as of 2021 were in favor of same-sex marriage. The country has gotten more in favor of same-sex marriage, not less. But the country is also more in favor of certain restrictions and protections of abortion, and the court reversed that. Right. And so the thing that concerns me, I'm sorry. I no, it's fine. Get out of my head. The thing that head. concerns the Republican so. here is, you know, you can't be naive about when they're threatening fundamental rights anymore if, if you thought that nothing would have ever happened to Roe. It, it, it's the, it, the anti-majoritarian impulse you're seeing. Right now, conservatives are saying, look, we got the court. Doesn't matter what public opinion is. Now, if there's a disconnect between rulings and the vast majority of public opinion, which I'd say 71% support for marriage equality, a sea change over the last 20 years is one. That is a political problem for Republicans. It's also a legitimacy of the court problems. And Ted Cruz, of course, it's just throwing fuel on that fire. But so how do conservative voters view this? Do they agree with a, a Ted Cruz or are they more on the side, well, this is a decision, we've lived with this, and this is how it should be? Obviously, I mean, they, they just threw out Roe after 50 years. Why would they be attached to Ogilvy-Fell after, after a decade? I think what Ted Cruz is doing is trying to, is try to strengthen his right flank for some future fantasy presidential campaign. Yeah, fantasy. And, yeah. and, and conservative, it's not that fantastic. You're right, it's not that fantastic. Oh, Ted oh, Cruz is definitely going to run for oh, president Ted Cruz in two years. President. I'm just saying, Ted like, Cruz has a fundamental likability problem, and that, you know, is, is usually matters in, in these things. But your question was about conservative voters. Yeah, what and do they think of this? I think conservative voters are, frankly, they're different all over the country, but in Texas in particular, at least those self-identified Republicans who turn out for the convention in Texas, mm -hmm. They probably like it. Well, the question is, does Ted Cruz speak for anyone but Ted Cruz in this sure. argument? He speaks for the sure. right extreme of the base of the Republican Party, those self-identified Republicans that are turning out in primaries, that are trying to throw out every Republican who voted to impeach Trump. There's three left, by the way. In two weeks, you've got primaries for Republicans that are trying to take out the last three Republicans who voted to impeach Trump. I mean, the self-identified base of the Republican Party, self-identified conservatives, they're going along with this.
And look, I, you know, just just to remember, I know I know the name Cheney isn't popular in Republican circles anymore. But if, if you're if you're a right wing activist who says I believe in freedom, as Dick Cheney once said about marriage, freedom means freedom for everybody. By the way, that's John, Margaret, and John, <laughs> or John and Margaret, whatever. <laughs> Thank Great you. Great to have you.